Okay, welcome to upgrading the firmware on an MDS switch. Uh, you can see we have the upgrading uh, firmware document here from Cisco. Uh, you can find there is a link to this in the upgrade guide for your particular upgrade, uh, whatever RCM you're going to. So the first thing we're going to have to do is open up an SSH session uh, to the MDS switch that we would like to upgrade. So we'll put that in. Ten. Dot one twenty seven dot eighty dot sixteen and our password is admin EMC one two three percent percent and we're in. So first show version to see what version of things we're running. You see we're at five zero one A, so we're relatively back level there. We see that both on the Kickstart and the system. We're going to have to upgrade both of those. So now let's go look at our certification matrix. And you can see for our Cisco MDS switch, we want to be at 6.211B. So let's go back. And yeah, you can see that we've got a significant difference here, and we need to do an upgrade. So the first thing we've got to do is copy the running config to the startup config. This is going to give us a place that we can, this is going to make sure that how everything is configured on the system now is saved so that when we restart the switch at the new level, it will be running the same way. Um, so copy running config to startup config, and that'll take a second. There we go. Now, looking at Boot Flash, um, we have already TFTP'd up the uh, the Kickstarter and the system. Uh, we had some issues. Uh, you know, we physically had to connect something into the lab to do that, so it uh, didn't work for us. That that's something you probably want to be aware of, though. TFTP has real limitations about you know going through segments and that sort of thing. So. Uh, and here we're verifying that this matches up. This is an MDS 9148, so it should start with uh, M9100 S3 EK9, and it does. That's our that's our piece. Uh, there's also a um, a check you can do uh, with the checksum, and I, the checksums are available from Cisco, so you can get them. They're also come through FlexNet, that sort of thing. So we show file boot flash, grab that, and tell it that we want to do the MD5 check on it, check some on it, and it will give us back a number here. Now, you can check this num, and we'll do it off the other one, too. The, you know, same name, just doesn't have the kickstart. This is for the system. So we have both of those there. And here we have the, from Cisco, the, the two files for MD5. And you can see uh, we start with 981BB, and we end with E582. And we start with, you know, you can now check them here. You can see that matches the number that we have up on top uh, for the kickstart. Uh, we could then go get the same. You know, so yeah, you, you see those two numbers match. Then getting the same information on the uh, system upgrade. Let's go back and look at that file. And as you can see, they do indeed match. So this is, this way we know that we have good valid software, that it hasn't become corrupted somewhere, that we didn't get it off of a, you know, you know it, somewhere in the transfer it didn't get messed up or it was bad in the beginning.
So next we're going to do a, 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 a test. Show install all impact kickstart boot flash and the file uh, that we have. And then what the system file is, which is, uh, as you can see, M9100. S9. Now, this will run for a second, and this will check to see that these pieces are configurable, that these pieces are, are loadable onto this system, that there's not some error that would cause a problem, and make sure that we have everything uh, that we need there. I, of course, made a typo. I'll spell bin correctly this time. And it goes through its verification. So you can see it has verified both files. It's now extracting to see that it's com they're compatible with each other. So now we can go check and we see down here at the bottom we had success on the sanity test. Um, we're capable of notifying the system services that we need to that this upgrade is is ready to go um, and you know these are the system the kickstart will be upgraded the BIOS uh, is not something we're doing here so that worked uh, this is a coherent thing we have it loaded on the system the TFTP didn't corrupt it um, all that sort of thing is there 